I'm Andy O'Reilly. There's Dave Cackley over there drinking the Kool-Aid once again. But Damn Skippy. We have a lot to talk about this morning. And I think you know where I'm gonna start. I want yeah, you yeah. I want you to grab a pen. Grab a pen. Uh, okay. I don't need to. I take mental notes. Mm-mm. No, you I'm not pen. writing anything down. Get a I pen. don't write shit down. Get a nope. pen. Let's just no. Let's just let's get, get a into pen. It. I'm not getting get a, a pen. pen. I don't have a pen, a pen around me. I don't I've got, I've got, my, I'm not, I, they're not around. I don't, I already wrote, I already wrote down uh, everything. I don't No, 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 no. This is something you, you're you going to need to help me out. Go. With okay. I, I will help you. All right. You ready? So yesterday in the world of broadcast, mm-hmm. we saw many things happen. Um, and we well, saw one thing that was pretty big. It was big. It was really big. Mm-hmm. And we need to, we need to address this. Um, because it's, it's bad. Um, Everything exploded all over social media. Everything went nuts. Um, I saw something that could literally, it, it, it should send shocks through the entire planet. I, you sure you can't grab a pen? Uh, this is, I'd like this it, is a little, it's a, this is a tad hyperbolic, but I understand what you're getting at. Go ahead. Okay. On AFV last night, they showed oh, about six minutes no. of Chihuahua. No. And... I'm going to tell you what, those little demon bastards are more than I need to see on TV. Rat terriers, chihuahuas, and all that other kind of stuff. Ixnay on those. I'm, we're going to write a letter. Grab a pen. Get a pen. Get a pen. If I had any pens handy, I would there's throw nothing, them all away. There's nothing right good now. about seeing chihuahuas and, and ankle biters on AFV. Let's we're going to put a stop to that. Next up, you, you at the bar. Let's take a look at you at the bar here. Uh-huh. How many times did you ask for refreshed ice in your one drink no. that you bought all day long and your $2 tip that you left? Uh, by the way, I left a $10 tip. Not wow. $2. $10. All right, so I've, I've a, helped you along in life. On a, which $39, is a $39 meal. Not bad. Left a ten dollar right. tip. That's improvement on you. I'll give you credit for that. So, and ten dollars cash, so government don't have to know about it. Nice. This is the other thing. All right. I, I get into I get into these uh, occasional discussions with my brother in law who believes in taxes. Uh, who always you know he'll he'll uh, he will pay. He's very generous. He will like pay for like family dinners and stuff. But he makes sure if you try to throw cash in, no, no, no. I'm writing the tip down. Because he believes that uh, yeah that these people should be paying every single bit of taxes that they owe on their you know three fit you know four dollar whatever it is I mean right. they make their money off tips so right. I'm big on cashing these people out period I don't so you're I don't you're care. a anyway. Caledonia bootlegger and the rest of the family's trying to go legit okay no it's it. <laughs> nothing wrong with that <laughs> nothing wrong Anywho. with that. Again, respect my brother-in-law, but this it's, it's a little ridiculous. Okay. Um, but no, it was uh, it was great. I was it, I did have just the one drink because I was driving. Were you at Stinky um, Pete's and, down there? And in... no, I was actually at the Uccellos in oh. uh, on Twenty Eighth Street. Wow. And Alexa had picked Max up, um, so I was like, okay, Daddy can unwind and have a drink and uh, finish watching the rest of the game. Of course, uh, where we I, I thought you were obviously going to talk about uh, the the outage. On NBC, that that threw that's you know, a the, problem too. People missed a big chunk of the game, which was huge. Big problem, but f- which which I thought you were going to actually seriously address, and I you, was. You pointed we, it we out on Facebook. I just had Go to. Uh, I had to catch you off guard first. That was fun. Okay, that was good. fine. So since you wasted no, our time seriously. for six minutes with that, talk. What happened there seriously? was they they had an outage in Indianapolis, and that's where master control is. Mm-hmm. And here's the problem. Um. Nobody was running the ship at will. Nobody. Mm-hmm. And the quick, easy fix was to plug in a feed, and it's going back and forth between they caught a feed from Florida, they caught a feed from New York, whatever. Mm-hmm. It's not Wood TV's fault. Right. It's not. However, it is their fault in the fact that they had amped up all the car- costs for advertising for this game. They had ramped up. Um, all the coverage and you know, hey, everybody tune in. And of course, this whole paywall thing looms, which looks bad. And then now let me finish the thought. I'm not. And to have 
something this big and important and that so much money is on the line, even for the advertisers, even for the oh, people yeah. that are spending money to put mm-hmm. put this on, to not have right. some kind of redundancy in place is a bad, bad, bad mm-hmm. business practice. And then on top of that, imagine had this been something of extreme importance. A terrorist attack, a school shooting, any of this kind of stuff. We lose that feed because somebody in Indianapolis has got a problem. We got a bigger problem. Now, here's the other thing I want you to think about. When they when they did get the feedback with whatever feed they grabbed, all of the local imaging and everything else was gone. It was just mm-hmm. a straight feed. Right. Which tells you that that control is even further away from local than imaginable. Mm-hmm. They, they couldn't even turn it on to run their own promos and commercials and all that crap. It was just the 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 feed. That's that's a problem, man. Uh, it, you're, that's a problem. You're right, it is. It is. And I think... Uh, what, now, we're never going to go back to the way it was. We can always bitch about, well, we need to get this back locally. That's never going to happen. They're going to do this out of these hubs. That's just because it's... It's well, a cost cost saving measure. They're that. not going to go back. That's why it's so important that we have these alternative means of communication. And that's why we have these alternative media uh, sources. You've got other ways to get your information. I, so you're I not reliant more. on, say, your traditional broadcast networks the way you used to be. Well, you wouldn't get in. Now we get all the information. We have it. So with the, I'm the gonna fail safe what, is actually the fail safe is actually there and it's yeah. a good thing that it is there and we right. need it to stay there i'm going to tell you the problem though it's the adaptability of the audience and the way that they consume media at this point mm-hmm. it's not there yet well it's, right, we've got it's, the fail it's, safe it's we've there. got we've got guys like us who are two steps underneath radio and television still I'm watching the numbers and I see what yeah. I see our growth right, and I see right. the way things play out. Mm-hmm. You know, in fact, you know what I saw the other day? Honest to God, if the corporate radio stations in Muskegon were gone, you know, the Cumulus and the iHearts mm-hmm. and all that other kind of stuff, a low power FM that plays urban music would be number one in Muskegon. That's great. I mean I'm all for it. Congratulations, Paul. But these can can you see that these big bloated dinosaurs that are sitting here doing nothing are blocking the actual I, important stuff? I'm they not are. I'm not denying what you're saying or even arguing against it. I'm saying it is what it is, and we have to adapt to it, and users have to adapt, and I think they are. Like the fact that my almost 88 year old mother could you know go on her phone right. and get everything now, and she's she's a bit of a technophobe. She gets you know she's like a lot of older people, but she can still manage it. She's and, and there are a lot of people who figured it out who can manage it again. Right. So we're, you're not going to be in the dark. You're going to get the information. You're just not going to get it the same way you used to. And we're never going back to it. That's I'm the big thing. That everybody's got to wrap their head around and wrap their and brain around. And you can well bitch. And, and people can bitch and moan and complain about it. And, and that's fine. But you're not changing it by bitching, moaning, or complaining about you. It. It's just not going to go back to that. So you have to adjust. You have to adapt individually. That's the only way you're going to, you know, be able to deal with it, or you get left behind. And I'm going to tell you, I, what, I hate to. That's I'm sorry. There are going to be those that are left behind, and they are going to look mm-hmm. at us as broadcasters and go, "Where were you?" I'm just telling you, and I just I, told. I, it, just, we and, we are and, right here. I get it, but to you, can you find us right here. To you, that can roll off your back. Yes, one hundred. If they look at me and they say, "Where were you in this emergency?" I take that as an extremely heavy hit. That's the difference that we look at this this career path as, and there's neither right or wrong, right? I look at this job as a public trust. Yeah, um, that's fine. That's good. Yeah, and and if if if. If there was an ability of me or any of my compatriots mm-hmm. that work in this industry to warn and do what they should do under a federal license to serve a community, they better goddamn well do it. And and not get eyes on here. Yeah, I know. Get the eyes on here. Don't That's what worry we're about to what, do. what the broadcast networks are doing. Again, you talk about the dinosaurs. 
Those are effectively the dinosaurs. And hey, I still work at broadcast TV. I know that's where a good, a good chunk, a good chunk of my my uh, meat comes from. I get okay? it. Okay, but they've all uh, adjusted. That's why so much of their stuff is online too. You know, at first, back in the early days, it was like, oh, this is a competition. No, no, you've got to adapt with this technology. Okay, the hubs in we're getting the hubs in Indy now. Okay, we got to adjust. And you have to adjust as viewers. You have to adjust. I mean, you have to do that to stay informed. If you just, and I've said this for years, if you just get all your information from broadcast TV, you're missing out on most of it, a good chunk of it. And that's why we need, again, alternative media sources are, are so valuable. Alternative ways of communication are so valuable. And we are, this is where we are now. And this is, this, this is going to continue to grow. This is going to well, get better. Well, while the other one, this is this this technology is going this way. That technology is going that way. Now you're right. Uh, there's still it's still ahead, and that's still what people are, uh, especially the older population, and I include myself in that older population is used to. But we are adapting. People are adapting. This is just what we do. The idea that it, we need to feel a, a huge now you need to feel a burden as far as what you put out as the head of this pirate ship oh i what do you decide to do and you do that so the idea that you know you, you you can you don't even have to make people aware of the broadcast because you can already see that people already see that and again that you you people can rant and rave about that and say you need to get this local that's not going to happen well because it's a dollars and cents thing so it won't happen then, you're, then you're screaming at the clouds then the problem is this is that money has taken over Mm -hmm. licensing mm -hmm. and that that seems to be okay Taking over I, i'm not okay with it okay this is not a, this is not an uh, am i okay with it it's uh how I, i'm not do saying I you are to it but you're 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 complacent in the idea that these laws have been superseded by enough money that we just need to let it go you have to let it go because you're not going to again i'm all for i'm all for advancement i'm 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 I don't like change like anybody. I'm, 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 I'm the, the stereotype. I'm I get the it. old I white guy it. who doesn't like change, but I understand in order to survive in this medium, in this world, in this society, you've got to be able to adapt to it. That doesn't mean you have to change your values or the things you believe in or, or your faith structure or anything like that. But when it comes to the way you get information and the way you absorb information, uh, especially that which is important. And to a lot of us, that line game was important uh, too. Um, you you got to just, you got to just adjust to it. And that's what a lot of like the bar I was at. People were going nuts for about five minutes and then they switched over to the, the Peacock feed, which thank God that was actually available to go to. Uh, and it was fine. Yeah. You, you ad adapt and you adjust and that's the way it's going to be. And if you can't do that, I, I hate saying this. It's on you. Okay. You can you can blame these you can blame these corporations and hey, their 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 job is to make money for their shareholders. That's what their job is. Sorry, we could we could be altruistic about it and say they shouldn't do that. And you're right. You'd be right. But they're not going to change. So and we're not going to change them. So we have to adapt, and that's what this is about. Okay. That's why this grows. And they can come here. They don't have to get it. And they can use other, again, other uh, media sources. Uh, there's other ways to get this information. So we're, it's all good. The sky is not falling. We're all, okay. we're, all, we're gonna be all right. Sure. Agree or to, hey, this is good for us. I, dude, I, I, I think you're. What? Dude, dude, I'm what? Dealing with re dealing there's, there's in reality, an air of agreeability there about the fact that this is going to be oh, good for agreeable. us and all that other kind of stuff. But I again, I just you you the you want to yeah. I understand what you're saying. It's not, not okay. Again, I'm not saying it's okay. It's it is. It doesn't matter that it's not okay. okay. Well, then move that on. That doesn't your news. matter. This isn't move me on, being move agreeable. On to your news. This is me just stating reality. Anyway. Okay, speaking of reality, Congress calling on the FDA, this is kind of a crazy story, to review an over-the-counter supplement dubbed the, this is, I don't even know what to do with this, gas station heroin. Oh. This is, it's called uh, uh, 
tyoneptine, I think it's, yeah, tyoneptine is uh, not available for medical use in the U.S., but is found in many gas stations and corner stores under the brand names Zaza and Tiana Red. If you're buying anything called Zaza, uh, you might want to think twice about that. Anyway, uh, tyoneptine is I don't know. Used... We should let consumers find out for themselves. Is, I mean, you know. Is, is, wait a second. That's on them, you know. Oh, well, let's just absolve people of any personal responsibility. <laughs> Again, this doesn't have to be an either or thing. I get let's it. Let's not turn it saying. into that. Tianeptine is used in Europe. You know, we all want to be European. It's we used do? in Europe as an alternative to antidepressant drugs like Zoloft, uh, Prozac, and Lexapro. So oh. I don't know. Jury's out on this. I don't know if this is something anybody needs to freak out about. Uh, but it's something you want to keep in mind if, you know, you see your kid coming out. What the hell are you doing? And I, I looked into this. Some studies say it's it's not addictive, but I don't know what you can trust on that front. Right. So it's it's so I'm not necessarily even against uh, against a certain uh, certain bodies looking into this because I think it should. I think with any drug, you need to look into it because obviously, you know, you, you get sold things all the time. Right. And, you know, we we're one of the few countries that allows uh, these drug makers to advertise, which is bullshit, which we shouldn't allow to do. Yeah, but it's money. But but I, you know, but again, it's not, it's not we going should, away. Again, we just have right. to adapt. Exactly. Okay. One hundred percent. You're one hundred percent. People have to be aware of what you're being sold isn't necessarily what's good for you. Right. So you're one hundred percent right on that. Absolutely. <clears throat> Should we allow it? No. Right. We're going to keep allowing it, though. Right. That's just the reality. Again, I deal in reality. I don't kneel in. I wish it were this, and it's not this. That's just. I'm sorry, but that's just. And again, you got us. I'm not spitting out any lies. I'm telling you what the truth okay. is. So there you go. Finally, what should no, have been the number one story. No, no this is, oh, wait. I, oh, you're right. Oh, my God. I almost, Way to go. Thank you. Meathead. Thank you for stepping in. And, and, and then you had, to, you had to go be rude. Okay. That's all right. Americans sleep more in the winter, according to research from the National Institute of the Obvious. Uh, sleep needs for most adults uh, hover between seven and nine hours during the winter months. So Americans sleep an average of 30 minutes more per night is based on a February, 2023 study. Now, if I could just, if I could sleep from the end of the Super Bowl until like mid March, that would be perfect. You're talking yeah. about, you know, high, like do Americans, do, do we need that hybrid? No, nobody needs to hibernate. This is just a weather thing. Oh. Nobody really deals with this shit. Like if you're in Southern California, you're right. in Florida, you know, it's not the same, right. it's not the same issue. Here's what I want you to do though. Speaking of uh, dealing with the obvious, mm -hmm. um, would you congratulate the weekend uh, anchor team from last night on um, their closing piece about eating snow? Um, <laughs> I, I've i struggled over the years. Look, I'm like, do I eat the snow closest to the road? Do I eat the snow off the no, driveway? That could be tainted with chemicals and such. I'm just saying. You can't I, hard snow unless your dog or cat is shit in it. I felt very clear after I heard the closing piece last night about what snow to eat. So mm -hmm. thank them for that. Well, thank see, this is, this is what we call the, you, you got to give them some lighter fare to digest. The, the gal, the gal that was anchoring the news last night, mm -hmm. loved her, adorable. Yes, she is just as cute as a button. I thought she was wonderful, and I, I think honestly, I want you to pass along a compliment. I don't remember her name. Um, okay. she was she was a delight. Okay. I I thought she was great. It was probably Elena, is who you're talking about. Elena, and she does a fine job. She does a fine What's her last job. Name? She just goes by the name Elena. It's like Madonna or Taylor oh, okay. Swift at this point. Yeah, I'll look she it up here. All right, do your last story. I'll look up who it was. I liked her a lot. But... I did. What? I know you did. I know oh. you weren't mocking it. I know you weren't mocking it. Okay. That's so why I just, I just, I, I, I know what her last name is, but I just like playing along. Finally, what should have been the number one story? Of course, Detroit Lions one win away from Super Bowl Fifty Eight. Detroit takes down Tampa Bay. Sunday afternoon at Ford Field, 31-23. They advance the NFC Championship game at San Francisco. Kickoff set for 6.30 p.m. next Sunday. Frisco, a seven-point favorite. Uh, this has been a phenomenal year, phenomenal season for Detroit. It, I want to say it's all gravy, but when you're this close to that ultimate prize, uh, if they if they do go down to defeat, as is, is great a season as it's been, uh, there will be tears. But 
God, this team has been, this, this has been fun for me as a bandwagon fan to jump on, wear this hat. You know, it's, it's been, it, it, you're led by a guy in Dan Campbell, who's just one of these, who's an alpha dog, an yeah. emotional alpha dog. The right. guy who everybody made fun of when he was hired, talking about biting kneecaps, who's this Neanderthal? They're just going to suck. Three years. They've won as many playoff games this year as they did in the previous 67. That's an accomplishment. That's something to hang your hat on. And God, these guys are fun to root for. Well, I'm glad. Fantastic. Lauren Baker is the girl that was doing the news last Lauren, week. Oh, Lauren. Oh, I'm sorry. Just a delight. So it wasn't Elena. It was Lauren Baker. Yeah. I was... actually worked with her. She's she's good. I worked with her uh, during uh, Snowmageddon. Yeah. Just a just a peach. And I yeah. I, today when we get done, I want you to find that pen I had you look for uh, at the beginning. Yeah. I'm, and I'd like you to write down that, that Andy O says you're a peach and throw it in her mail. Is that is that journalistically really a compliment? I know you meant to be complimentary when you just call somebody a peach. Well, I mean, it's like if I if I, if I call, call her you, a doll. you know, call her you whatever know, you want to call her, I don't care. Stud muffin, throw her a compliment, or uh, or you know, hey, that's a that's a that's a p here. That's a that's a piece of pastrami right there. Well, yeah, I, I don't know. If we're gonna have lunch meat, we better have pastrami. That's what I'm saying. I I'm more of a you know I, I'm. I like ketchup on hot dogs. That's not me. Not for, yeah, you know, know, you can you can shit on hot dogs all you I'm want. They're delicious. I'm not thing. I'm not all right. Oh, what else is going on? Baltimore, Kansas City in the AFC Championship. Baltimore waxes Houston on Saturday, 34 to 10. The Kansas City Swifties uh, upset Buffalo, 27-24. And I feel kind of bad for Taylor Swift now because she's taking a hammering on social pe media because people are just kind of sick of the crowd shots of her getting excited in them. I mean, she's just rooting for her boyfriend. It's not a big deal. You know, relax, relax. And it'll probably be over for her next week against Baltimore anyway, so that's all right. Anyway, go Lions. We'll see what they can do next Sunday against Frisco. Oh, Michigan State, meanwhile, they knock off Maryland 61-59 to college hoops. That's sports. All right, it's time for a little Jeopardy, which is an exciting event anytime we do the Andy and Dave Daily. Today, mm -hmm. it's famous last words. Okay. Repeat that. Famous last words. Got it. Just want to make sure because last Friday mm -hmm. we had a bit of a controversy here. Yeah. You tried to weasel your way out of a wrong answer, which was pathetic and beneath you. But, hey, that's okay. I get it. Well, nothing is beneath me. Nothing. No. Mm -mm. Alpha's Greek letter opposite that means the last in a sequence. Alpha, uh, got to be Z. Is that your answer? Wait a minute. Nope, you're done. Z. Another 200 in the hole. That makes it 49,200. What's the answer? I think I was confused. Omega. The and Omega. It's oh, Greek. shit. Alpha so, and Omega. Dude, God bless it. That's If it's it. that Greek, it's going to be Zeta. And it was Zeta. Yeah, I was going to say Zeta. Z, but you said this letter. You said this letter. You said this Greek letter. Le it would be Zeta. But it was Omega. Yeah. I should have known Omega. I should have known I'll look at it like this. Consider this your life blessed because it's better to be it good is. looking than smart. My life, so, no, my congratulations. life is, is blessed. And it yeah, one hundred percent. Thank you. You're more than welcome. I wish you the best day ever. And it'll uh, be great. It'll be fantastic. Continue on in that complacency. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> See ya. Monday Muskegon, a couple rounds of snow will be likely Monday and Tuesday until it turns to all rain on Wednesday. So let's take a look at your forecast brought to you by Trendy Health. Your weather headlines this week show overall it will be much warmer this week than it has been recently with temperatures mostly in the 30s and maybe even the 40s. Snow will break out Monday morning, likely bringing us one to two inches of snow throughout the day. And then more snow is likely on Tuesday, bringing one to three inches until it turns to all rain by Wednesday. So enjoy the snow while it lasts. Future radar does show snow will break out around 7 a.m. or a little bit before here in Muskegon. That will continue pretty much all morning. By 10 a.m., you can see it's still snowing across the region, and then by the afternoon, it will slowly let up. Snowfall is expected to be 1 to 2 inches across much of West Michigan, especially north of I-94, impacting Grand Rapids and Muskegon the most. So for your Monday, expect a high of 34, so it will be warmer today, above freezing finally with snow, especially in the morning hours with a pretty strong southwest wind 
up to 20 miles per hour. And then overnight, a little bit more snow is expected, especially late Monday night into Tuesday morning with a low of 32. And then snow is expected throughout the day on Tuesday. It could be heavy at times as well. I think we'll probably get close to three inches of snow on Tuesday here in Muskegon. And then it will eventually turn into rain going into Wednesday and things will get foggy and rainy Wednesday into Thursday, starting to melt that snowpack as well with temperatures around 40 on Thursday. And then we'll gradually slip back down into the mid 30s over the weekend. And that's your Monday forecast brought to you by Trendy Health on the Muskegon channel and I'm Cole Woods Weather and have a great week.